you're doing good in this video i will be showing you how to integrate lucky orange on shopify what is lucky orange it is one of the best heat map softwares around and what is an heat map well this will basically help to show you how your customers or viewers interact with your shopify store or your website overall so for example you will be able to monitor how their mouse cursor moves so you can in turn increase their conversion so for example you can see what buttons are getting the higher click-through rates and so on and what links are getting the higher click-through rates and at what section of your page or your Shopify store persons are clicking off so in turn you'll be able to increase how your customers interact with your store and in turn you'll be able to make more money if this sounds good to you and you like to see how this looks or the use case be sure to stick around until the end as i'll be showing you how to use lucky orange heat map software the first thing you'll need to do is go over to the left hand menu option and tap on apps from here you're going to tap on app and sales channel settings then you're going to tap on shopify app store in the top right hand corner after doing that you're going to tap on the search bar and you're going to type in lucky orange and you're going to select lucky orange heat maps and replays after you have done that you can scroll down and you can read more about them so you can see with their free plan you'll get be given 100 sessions per month and you'll also get access to 30 day data storage and you can see their paid plans right here so if you like to upgrade to their paid plans in the future you can do that but for now i would recommend that you use the free plan so you are going to tap on install then once on this page you are going to tap on install once more after doing that you will be redirected to the lucky orange dashboard and from here you can type in your store name then i'll simply so i'm going to simply name my store simple answers so let me do that real quick so you'll type in your store name right there then from there you're going to tap on connect with shopify after tapping on connect with shopify you're going to give it a few seconds and then from there we can simply tap on i accept the terms and privacy statement right there and you're going to create a password so you can tap right there and you could create a password then tap on continue setup after you have done that what will you be using lucky orange for and you can see right there i'll be tracking a site for i'll be optimizing a site for my company i'll be optimizing sites for my clients i'll be optimizing my personal site then you could tap on continue set up after doing that you can enter your website name so let's say for example simple answers again then you will tap on continue set up after you have done that what is your primary role at simple answers and you can choose your option right here whichever option suits you so you can see the different options right there for example i'll simply tap on continue setup right here or you can tap on i don't see my role and you could enter your primary role right here so i'll simply type in owner then tap on continue set up after you have done that what would you like to do first in lucky orange you could select either live chat support or you can select session recording so with this you'll be able to record how visitors navigate on your website just like what i was saying and you can also select visitor tracking to do the same thing as i was saying earlier if you'd like to create surveys and collect feedback from your customers you can select surveys so I'm going to simply tap on visitor tracking. Then I'm going to tap on continue set up. After you have done that, you're going to enter your website domain name right here. You can do that. So all I'll need to do is go back onto Shopify. Once on Shopify from there, you can see your domain name right here. So we can simply copy our domain name. Then we'll go back here in lucky orange. And you can simply enter your domain name real quick after you have entered your domain name you can tap on continue set up and you can see that our account 
has now been created. Once your account has been created, as you can see right here, so you can see our account has now been created. From here, you in the future, you will be able to view your sitemaps by tapping on view a sitemap right here. You can also quickly install Lucky Orange so we could tap on verify installation. So we are going to do that real quick. So we'll tap on add URL right there. You can see our site right here has been added. So you can see right there, we're going to tap on view details. You can see our site has been added right there. So our website has been added, so that is all good. So all we'll need to do now, we could tap on overview right here. We can also tap on dashboard. And from the dashboard in the future, you'll be able to get a live snap of all of your visitors. So you can see the countries that different persons are visiting your Shopify store from. You can see the pages that they are interacting with. And you will also be able to view your click through rate and so on. And by going over to the left hand menu option, you can tap on visitors. And from here, you'll be able to get an even more in depth analytics on the different visitors and so on, as you'll be able to see the duration, the source, and all of that. And in the future, if you would like to, for example, create a survey, you can do that by tapping on communicate from the left hand menu option. Then from there, you could create a survey. So all you would need to do is tap on new survey right here. Or if it is a case that you like to create announcement, you could tap on announcements and you can see you could create an announcement right there. You can also create chat invites if you want and you can also set up your chat activity. So let's say, for example, we would like to create a survey. All you'll need to do is tap on new survey. Then from there, you can set up the survey that you would like to create. So for example, like or dislike, and I'll simply be calling this a test survey. Then tap on next. Then from here, you could enter your question. So for example, who, so let's say for example, how was your experience? For example, I typed in, how was your experience shopping on our store? After doing that, you can tap on next step in the top right hand corner. After you have done that, you can set up the triggers. So if you like this to be displayed on a specific page, you can do that. If you like it to be delivered on a specific device, you can also do that. Then we're going to tap on next step once more. And from there, you can select the duration. So is it for one week ongoing or only for two weeks or a month? You can select that. Then you'll tap on next step. And from here, you'll be able to review how it looks. So you can see how it looks right there. Then all you'll need to do is simply tap on launch in the top right hand corner for it to go live. So let's do that real quick. And you can see right there, it is now active. By tapping right here, you'll be able to view the results in the future. By tapping right here, you'll be able to view the results in the future. And if we were to tap on the three dots beside view results, if you would like to pause it, you could do that. Or if you would like to edit something on it, you can also do that. And by going over to the left hand menu option once more, you can tap on analytics. And from here, you'll be able to see your most active pages and so on. As you can see right here, you will also be able to see how persons are interacting with your forms by tapping on form analytics. You can also tap on funnels and from there, if you have set up any funnels and you can create new funnels by tapping on new funnel in the top right hand corner. And from there, you'll be able to view how persons interact with different funnels that you have set up. You can see, for example, that we have a funnel right here our Shopify checkout funnel. And if we were to tap on settings from the left hand menu option in the future, after going onto their paid plan from here, you'll be able to view your team members. So you could add team members if you want by tapping on add member in the top right hand corner by tapping on integrations from the left hand menu option. You can see the different platforms that lucky orange can be integrated with. So it can be integrated on WordPress, 
it can also be integrated on Square, HubSpot, and also Big Commerce. And that's basically it. If we were to go back into our Shopify store, for example, and let's say we were to tap on View Your Online Store. So after tapping on View Your Online Store, you can see right there that the survey pops up in the bottom right hand corner. And then from there, we can tap on thumbs up and you can see thank you for your feedback. And that's it. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.